Hi, I am Dr. Chanakeshwa, Consultant Anesthesiologist, Femin Telt. So, regional anesthesia is divided into spinal, epidural and nerve blocks. What is spinal anesthesia? Spinal anesthesia is the technique where we inject the local anesthetic into the subopnoe spread, which is filled by CSF, which surrounds the spinal cord. The technique involves the use of very specialized spinal needles called Pinkes and Whitaker. This the local anesthetic is usually injected after confirmation of the free flow of CSF. What this local anesthetic will do? After injecting, the local anesthetic which is settled around the spinal cord will block the nerve impulses the, that carry pain and sensation from the lower body to the brain. Epidural anesthesia is a technique where the drug, the local anesthetic drug is injected into the epidural space where it blocks the nerve roots, thereby preventing the blocking the pain part. Uh, coming to the nerve blocks. Here, the, it is the technique where the local anesthetic drug is deposited around the nerve, desired nerve, thereby preventing the impulses to traverse through, thereby causing the pain relief. During regional anesthesia, there is no meddling of airways. But in general anesthesia, we have to intubate the patient, put on a uh, ventilator, and due to this, there is high risk of maternal morbidity and mortality, which is avoided in regional anesthesia. In regional anesthesia, the post-operative complications are very less especially this respiratory problems will be less, DVT deep vein thrombosis will be less, then the oxygen requirement post-operatively will be less and patient will be mobilized very much early. So early mobilization, early recovery and early discharge and this, this reduces the overall ICU cost. The most common contraindications for region anesthesia are one is patient refusal. So for all region anesthesia, patient cooperation is, is a must. Second thing is hemodynamic instability that is if patient's BP is very less, heart rate is very much high or any heart problems in these cases regional anesthesia can't be given. Third thing is any allergic to the local anesthetics and fourth thing bleeding disorders. The complications of regional anesthesia, the most common complication but which is easily treatable complications are one is hypotension, bradycardia, headache, nausea, vomiting, shivering. These are easily treatable blood with IV fluids, but the rare complications are now injury, injury to now or injury to the spinal cord with the needle what we use. And second thing is very much eye block, extensive block or total spinal anesthesia. Third thing is infection. It can lead to spinal abscess, meningitis, arachnoiditis, cerebral abscess. The rarest complication are respiratory depression, which leads to respiratory arrest and cardiac arrest.